Hey, this is Scott, K7JSG from Portable Ham Radio. I'm uh, going to talk to you about uh, building my 20 meter dipole antenna. First uh, home brewed antenna I've ever made, and so here is what I'm going to do and uh, show you here how I made it and uh, what you can do to do it yourself. So, what I did is I bought this um, ballum, the one to one ballum, off of e uh, Amazon. And I'll put a link into it that you can do. And so, as you can see, I have attached wires to the end of this um, ballum. It's a 14 gauge wire. And it's for the 20 meter dipole, I made them 17 feet. And it's based off a of calculation from this web page. So, I used uh, this um, table from uh, Ham Universe. Ham Ham antenna links from their page. As you can see, it's a chart that shows all the different bands. As you know, ham bands is right there. And if you look down at 20 meters right there, it's got 16, nine, 16 feet 4, 9 for a quarter wave. So I made two of those ends. At six, it's actually 17 feet, so they can be adjusted. And so then you can adjust it to the length that you need to to make it resonant on whatever frequency. So from adjustment, you can see I got these uh, end caps here, resonators that you can hook up into the tree. And as you can see right here, all I did was just pull this through and then I put a wire tie on the end of it right here. And then I just pull out the length I want and then I just build, pull this up, bend it up to whatever I wanna do. So I just tried this out right at this length right here. So I will do an SWR meter reading on it when I get it up in the tree to see how it works. Then I hook up just wire ties in the end so that I can hook up uh, rope or uh, D clamps to it, whatever I want to do. I use this resonator to uh, hook it to the top of my antenna. All I got to do is just slide this underneath here and on top and it'll just hook onto the wires up there and I can run it up real quick. And so if I ever change wires or do something, real easy to go and change it out. So I can make these uh, wire links any length I want for any band I want. And when I do that, then I can uh, just put them on there and uh, just adjust them to make them work. I thought about doing longer ones. This is 14 gauge wire. It's pretty stiff. It's a, a stranded 14 gauge wire that's um, coated and pretty stiff. And so it's really kind of hard to uh, have a real long length in it to adjust for different sizes. So anyhow, so I'm just gonna cut other lengths to do other bands like 17, 15, so then I can make this an adjustable antenna to work for uh, whatever band I want. So a little bit later, I'll take this antenna up to St. Edward State Park and do a POTA activation and uh, see how it works. So until then, this is K7JSG for Portable Ham Radio. Uh, to get my uh, dipole up in the air, I use my slingshot and this combination. Mounted a reel with a sinker on the end of it. I shoot with my slingshot onto this PVC pipe. Uh, then I put that down and then I shoot it up there and I'll reel it back in to uh, bring my antenna up. So that seems to work really well. And here's a shot. I got the antenna all hooked up there. Now I'm just about ready to host it up into the tree. It's not going to go up very far. Just want to go up a little ways up and just give it a try and just see how it does on 20 meters. And so I made it so I can adjust the ends and I will get back on the air and I'll show you what the SWR comes out when I get up in the tree a little bit. This is K7JSG. I can see the uh, antenna's up maybe about 30 feet, maybe about 30 feet up in the air. And uh, not spread out too good, but just want to get it up there in a shot, give it a try, some branches in the way, but we'll see how it does on the air. So you can say, as you can see, I got the uh, antenna up in the air. I made it so I could adjust it, but I put it up in the air without adjusting it. And so right now at 14,250, it's 1.6 uh SWR. I've got like 17 feet on both sides so I can uh, adjust it through the uh, angles and bring more line in. Uh, it comes out one to one right around 14.030 as you can see right here. So if you're doing one to one, 14.20, 14.30 right there. So if you're doing uh, CW and stuff, it's tuned really good for that. And also down if you're going to do FT8, that area would be really good. I'll self set up for that. But I can adjust it. But right now I'm just going to do voice on this one. I got a tuner on my uh, ICOM 7100, so we'll give it a try and we'll see what how we get out with it. This is K7JSG. 
CQ parks in the air, CQ parks in the air. This is Kilo 7, Juliet Sierra Golf. Kilo 7, Juliet Sierra Golf, parks in the air from Kilo 3261, St. Edward State Park in Washington. I hear a Whiskey 7 station real faint. Can you come back? No copy on the Whiskey 7. This is Kilo 7, Juliet Serra Golf. Kilo 7, Juliet Serra Golf calling CQ Parks in the Air. CQ Parks in the Air from Kilo 3261. Alpha, Charlie, zero Alpha. Alpha, Charlie, zero Alpha, you're 5959 five, into Kilo 3261, uh, St. Edward State Park. Yeah, QSLD 59, you've also got a nice signal into Kansas. Near Kansas City on the Kansas side, uh, your 59 plus uh, again. The name is Bill. Oh, glad, nice to meet you, Bill. Thanks a lot. Yeah, like I said, I'm doing a homemade dipole that I just threw up in the tree, just made today, and I just want to get in and try it out. Had some time, so thanks a lot for coming back and helping me out in the activation. This is Kilo 7 Juliet Sierra Golf. Okay, it was 73, and uh, thanks for the new one, and hope you work a lot more. Uh, AC Zero A is clear. All right, and it's Alpha Charlie Zero Alpha, right? QSL, QSL. All right, thanks a lot, and thank for the seven and seventy-three. This is Kilo Seven, Julius Sierra Golf calling Q CQ for Parks in the Air. The November Zero Station. Norway Zero, Radio Zulu, you're 5555 in the St. Louis Edwards State Park in uh, Washington. Okay, good afternoon. You are 55 uh, five also, 55 into Southwest Kansas. Uh, thank you, 73. All right, thanks a lot for the contact in 73. QRZ, Kilo 7, Juliet Sierra Golf going CQ for Parks in the Air from Kilo 3261, Parks in the Air. Uh, Whiskey 7 Station, Whiskey 7, this is Kilo 7, Juliet Sierra Golf. All right, Whiskey 7, Whiskey X-Ray X-Ray. Okay, this is K7JSG Scott back here again. I just finished up my activation of Kilo 3261, St. Edward State Park in Washington. Here's my log. I know my handwriting's not that great, but uh, I've got it down. I got 22 contacts in about 48 minutes. Started at 218 and I ended right around uh, 3 o'clock. That'd be uh, 2300 UTC. I got contacts from Washington here all the way out to New Brunswick, Canada, and Florida. So uh, it was actually pretty good. So my antenna did really well, got really good reports on it. Uh, so I can't complain. I'm going to have to use this again. I'm going to try this uh, antenna out and use it for winter field day in my backyard. But I wanted to try it out. First time I've ever built my own antenna and it uh, worked really well. So anyhow, successful uh, activation of St. Edward State Park here in Washington. And uh, thanks a lot, everyone, for the contacts. And uh, 73, this is K7JSG.